What we're going to work on today is what are the different parts of the polynomial called and why is that important? Now, I have a polynomial over here. The first question is what is the degree? The degree is the largest exponent in the polynomial. In this case, it's 8. Now, it's important that whenever you um, write a polynomial, you always have to write it so the degree of each term goes from large to small. It has to be in sorted order. The coefficients are the numbers that are in front of the variable. So in this case, it's 7, 5, negative 9. Don't forget to keep the um, sign. And also, 2. Now you may be saying there's no variable for 2. Actually, there is. It's just hidden. x to the 0 is 1, so this simplifies to 2. So that constant, th that last number is also a coefficient. The constant is the degree 0 term, or if I didn't write this, it's the number that's all by itself. Now, terms are separated by plus or minus. So the question is, how many things here are separated by plus or minus? That's a term, that's a term, that's a term, and that's a term. Those are all terms because they're separated by a plus or a minus. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four terms. Now, if you tell me what each, uh, if you ask me what is each term, that's my first one. This is my second one. Remember that when you write a term, you need to keep the sign with it. Okay, so why don't you try? So go ahead and answer these questions. And I put all the sort of tricks in here also. So when we say, what is the degree? Well, that's the largest exponent. When we say, what is the coefficient? Well, what are the numbers that are in front of the variable? Uh, 6, 2, and even though you don't see it, there's a minus 1 there. So we also have minus 1 as a coefficient. What's the constant? So what is the degree 0 term? Is there a number that's all by itself at the end here? And the answer is, yeah, it's hidden. So if there's nothing, it's 0. Now, when we count the terms, we don't count that sort of hidden, uh, that hidden constant. So there are three terms here. And each term is separated by a plus or minus. So these are my terms. Okay, next. Now the next question is, why should I care? Let's look at a linear equation. Um, this right here is a graph of a line. This is my slope, and this is my y-intercept. Now, if we sort of ignore the y, we can think of this as a polynomial. This is a, uh, my constant is 2. And 3 is my leading coefficient. So the leading coefficient is the coefficient in the um, term that has the largest exponent. Okay. Now, why is this important? If we were to graph this, we know that when slope is positive, so the leading coefficient co -e is positive, right? we know that the line goes up towards the positive 
y direction. We know that if the leading coefficient is negative, it goes down. Right? If my slope is negative, my line goes down in the uh, negative y direction. Now let's look at a different polynomial. Now we can make similar inferences by looking at this as a polynomial. What is my constant? What is my constant? It's 4. That's my y-intercept. What is my leading coefficient? It's positive. So I know that my graph will look something like this, and at some point, it's going to pass by the y-axis at 4. I don't know where, but someplace it will. Now, if the leading coefficient was negative, we know that this graph would look like this. Now, when we look at the degree, over here we have degree 2. So there is always a degree minus 1 number of turns, meaning that if my degree is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so there can be 1 turn. Over here, my degree is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and that's why I have a straight line, there are no turns. Now what happens if I look at something that's degree 3? So the degree is 3, which means that there are 3 minus 1 turns, and I know that that's positive, so I'm going to start out here and I'm going to make 2 turns. If you ask me what is my uh, constant, my y-intercept is at negative 1. So without knowing anything about uh, this uh, polynomial, I can sort of guess what this thing looks like, roughly, roughly. Now, for those of you who are stressed out, none of this is on the test. Well, the vocabulary is, but this page isn't. Okay, now let's look at more vocabulary. If I have only one term, then I have a monomial. If I have a polynomial with two terms, then I have a binomial. If I have a polynomial with three terms, then I have a trinomial. Now, if I have a degree two polynomial, so now I'm not counting uh, terms, I'm just looking at what is the largest degree. That will be, um, that is called a quadratic. Thank you.